Hey friends, welcome back to another episode of Auto Freeway. If this is your first time visiting, I hope that you stick around. I hope also that you're having a great week. Uh, everything that's going on notwithstanding, keep safe, keep healthy. So yeah, moving on to more mundane things. This video is about another modification to the AMG. So if you remember, uh, I received the first carbon fiber spoiler, which didn't quite fit the car. So I returned it, got my refund, and got a brand new one from another place that fits like a glove. So I'm gonna do the installation myself. And I'd like to thank Flex Alexander, my pal, for his help. Uh, I saw one of his videos, but in addition to that, you know, he gave me a shout out in his channel. So if you're a Mercedes-Benz enthusiast, if you own one, you know, pay him a visit. I'll put the link, you know, one of his videos here. Pay him a visit. Uh, he does a lot of, you know, tons of modifications on his Mercedes. And now he has an Audi, I think it's an A4, that he's gonna do modifications. And most of the modifications are very affordable. Well, kind of like mine, you know, I don't spend a lot of money doing modifications. So, uh, you know, pay him a visit. So, yep, today will be the installation of the carbon fiber uh, boiler. Okay, so this is what I'll be using. Well, obviously this is the new carbon fiber spoiler. This is the original one, which I guess I'll be selling. Um, this one, carbon, uh, the, the, the spoiler came with a strip of 3M uh, tape, uh, the very thin one. Uh, but I'm gonna be using also this one, which is a little bit thicker and is the uh, super strength molding one. Also, it came with a masking tape to mark the location. I'm gonna be using to clean the area a little bit of isopropyl alcohol. But before that, the uh, Armol Ultra Shine Wash Wipe, uh, just to you know, clean the area. Then the um, yeah, I took up the alcohol and obviously a microfiber towel. And, you know, I'm gonna be heating up a little bit the um, tape with a heat gun, otherwise known as a hair dryer. I don't have a heat gun. Okay, so first, cleaning the area with the wipe. And this is going to be kind of a challenging job for me because you know, installing the uh, spoiler on the wrap basically means you don't have you know, room for error. You have to do it right the first time because otherwise if you lift it, you're gonna lift the wrap also. So that's one thing that you know, makes me nervous. But uh, as I said, uh, Flex has some good uh, tips on how to do it. Not on, not on wrap, on just you know, regular metal basically or the car the skin of the car um, so but like it says or like it like the uh, saying goes you know measure twice and don't make a mistake basically so I'm gonna be measuring the center which actually the the star of the Mercedes helps me centering basically the spoiler because it is centered uh, to the car you know to the trunk so um, so yeah okay so after cleaning it with a towel, with a wash, uh, wipe, I'm gonna spray a little bit of the uh, isopropyl alcohol. I don't wanna do too much on the wrap. Actually, I don't know what effect it will have on the wrap. Hopefully not. So, yep. Okay, so using the masking tape, I basically uh, position the spoiler center to the star and I marked it off with the uh, masking tape also on the spoiler in the mark where I want it to be and the edges where they should be. My tolerance on e either side is about one millimeter so I don't think anybody's gonna notice if it is not quite center but I think it is very center on the trunk. Okay so I clean the uh, back side of the Spoiler with some more isopropyl alcohol and now uh, I'm going to get back the tape.
Okay, so as you can see, I added the two strips. I also added a portion of the thin strip kind of between the two um, wider strips. I also peel some of the backing tape or some of the backing and folded it over so I can pull it once I place the, um, the spoiler. I don't think it matters when you're applying it on wrap because if you fail the first time, basically you're done. It's not like you can reposition it as if, we're, as, as if you were put it in right on top of the uh, just regular uh, metal of the car or the paint of the car. I'm also going to use, as I said, my handy heat gun, otherwise known as air dryer, to heat up the uh, tape and make it even more sticky. I'm using the uh, extra hot setting and, and just briefly, I mean, I don't have to do it for a long time. The moment of proof. I either do it right the first time or I'll be wrapping again. <laughs> the back, the, the trunk. Right now I have everything aligned. Good. Okay friends, so what do you think? Again, I think that's for my first time doing this thing. It turned out okay within my tolerance limits of about one millimeter and it seems to be fairly well centered uh, but I tell you one thing though I was extremely nervous while putting it on because had I failed to center it properly and you know stuck it properly to the trunk that would have meant removing it having to remove it and then rewrapping basically you know the lid of the trunk Okay, so one thing that I did is I applied pressure at least for, uh, for 10 minutes. I definitely don't want this thing flying off uh, you know, while on the highway. <laughs> uh, and since it is my first time, you know, again, I have no idea how it will behave. One thing though, as I was pulling one of the strips, the last strip, maybe about six inches off, the uh, backing kind of ripped off. So this section, the outside uh, is not tape per se, but it has the uh, thinner section or the thinner tape and the thicker tape on this section of, you know, all along. So I hope that doesn't uh, do anything again to the integrity of the spoiler. But other, other than that, I think again for my first time, you know, it looks, looks nice. And then my other project, which is in its final stages, is the winglets of the, um, uh, what is it, the splitter. <laughs> and this is the right side, so I still have to do the left side and hopefully the install within a week or two. I'm not sure how long will it take for me to do that because it's, I think, much more complicated than doing you know, this point. okay? Okay, so I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, you know what to do. Thumbs up. You know, put in the comments what you think about the spoiler and you know, eventually the splitter. You know, that will be my next modification, you know, to the AMG. And I don't know if you have noticed, but I'm using a new gizmo. Actually, I bought it a long time ago, but I haven't used it. And I think it's working fine. I think that the audio is much better than just the microphone attached to the, uh, to the iPhone. So, okay, so until next time, stay safe, stay out of trouble, and healthy, okay? Peace.